and uh, create our VM first. Windows 10 VM. So I'll go ahead and create new virtual machine. Go to next and give a name. I'll give some name here like Windows 10 22s2. This is the new version. I'll select Horizon Desktops. This is where I am to keep it. And this is the resource pool I have created here, Horizon Desktops. <clears throat> and this will be thin provision, so I'll put thin and uh, okay. Here, let's see here, I just didn't encrypt it. I don't remember. This is pretty simple. I want to make it and Windows, Windows 10, 64. Next, here, and to edit some of the parameters here, I will give 8 gig RAM, <coughs> 2 B CPUs, 48 gig of uh, disk. What I'll do is I'll put instead of uh, this is thin provision. So what I'll do, yes, so I it will take thin and disk provisioning here it is thick. So I what I'll do is I'll put thin provisioned. This is important if you want to save your disk capacity and so that it will be not provisioned all the 58 48 gig will not be provisioned at a time from the beginning. So that's why I put thin provisioning. <clears throat> then I'll put my uh, SCSI controller as VMware Paraversal. Then I'll go my network. I'll change my network to whatever you want to give. You can give, and I'll put my VM network. And I'll change this adapter type to VM VMX Net three, and then USB video card. I'll put some sixteen gig RAM here, sixteen MB here. This is based on how big your display you want to support. Uh, you can find it here. Um, uh, this link I'll put in the description. Here, if you have VGA and uh, number of monitors you want to use, based on that, you can actually give this uh, RAM to be utilized. This is a three monitor overhead, two monitor overhead. How much RAM would be utilized, right? So I'll give 16, I'm not going to use more. So 16. SEDA controller, security device, other, and one more thing I just wanted to see. So here, three things like disk, thin provision, virtualized VM network, and here, one more thing, the ISO image. I want to put the ISO image of Windows 10. I will put this one, Windows 10 here. I have up already uploaded the ISO image to the data store. Connected power on selected and then one more thing here advanced parameter go to advanced parameter here I want to put something attribute called device hot block and I'll put to false uh, so this is that's it and I'll put next just check everything is fine 2 gig 8 gig Nick one VMX net three for a virtual and this is thin provisioned <clears throat> and this is also VM storage policy thin storage policy is thin so finish right go ahead and check it you see here um, allocated is 58 gig but zero gig used right so let's go ahead and start it and what i'll do is i'll just click here quickly enter so that it will boot from the disk or the iso image and that's it for installing and i'll just take you through a little bit here this is pretty much straightforward windows 10 installation which i am sure you will be aware of but still uh, install now <clears throat> okay.
so setup is starting okay i don't want to give the key here this is a trial version i downloaded so i don't have the product key and i'll put windows 10 pro and i'll put next <coughs> i accept the terms next i'll put custom well this is one thing here we're here and it is not able to find the disk so what we need to do is load a driver which is required for the disk to be recognized because we have to put windows para personalized personalized uh, scsi disk right scsi so here what i need to do is go to actions and put guest os install vma tools and mount it okay i did a mistake um, before doing this uh, what i should have done is um okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to power off quickly i forgot something i we need to put one extra cd rom okay this will be required i'll tell you why okay um so add new desk here and so dvd so this is okay and let's check if it is again added All right so this is one and this is two so iso file and this need to be free this is a requirement i'll tell you when it is and why we need to add exactly because we wanted to mount our um, vmware um, <clears throat> you see here i just wanted to here we need to install the vmware tools and that need to be mounted so for that i'll, I'll, I'll restart my installation again and let's go quickly and okay i need to just reset it i was not fast enough so i'll just power cycle it and i'll go quickly to enter okay now here i'm starting it again and i'll go to next install okay i don't have the product key go to pro and next next and custom and you see here there is disk is not recognized here to go back to recent so and go to action while selecting the vm guest os and install vmr tools and mount it once you mount it the disk gets mounted and click load driver and go to browse here and once you see this you see this this is the windows iso image and this is the vmr tools for that reason we needed to add one extra disk right cd drive so go to program files in the vmr tools then go to vmr vmr tools drivers pv scsi and here for the windows 10 they don't go to windows 10 according to the documentation here we need to go to windows 8 so that we can find in fact um here if you go here everything is given please do follow this and here it is telling um, we need to find that in in windows um, 10 we need to find and if you see here I, I just wanted to show you exactly what i'm talking if windows 10 mb64 and 
see it is no same device drivers found surprisingly i don't know why but i tried that and why they don't put it here but they put it to windows 8 for windows 10 surprisingly so go to windows 8 and here amd64 and okay you see here now it is vmware para virtual SCSI controller this is the driver for because we have selected vmware para virtualized device that's why you need to put it then go to next now after this gets installed this driver gets installed we can see the um, device or the hard disk where you see here now 48 gig disk which is we added and that's shown here previously it was not shown go to next and that's it uh, we have started windows ins installation so i'll just pause my video here and once i this is over i'll come back thanks for watching